With the demographic explosion of the 1950s, you have a whole generation, the scale of which had never been seen before, called teenagers. And teenagers were driving the economy. And the kids in this country, they, they had work, they had a bit of money, and with that money, they went out and bought the fastest vehicles that they could afford. That meant a motorcycle. The British motorcycle industry, a huge industry, had been churning out thousands of machines as part of the war effort, were in a position to capitalise on that. Of those machines of the tail end of the 50s, one of the great bikes of the 60s was launched. There's a, there's a timeless appeal with things we term classic, be they watches, pieces of art, whatever. And Triumph certainly came along in 1959 with something which I think has become something of an icon, and that was the Triumph Bonneville. Its looks, its performance, and its popularity have ensured that today, kissing 60 years later, people know what a Triumph Bonneville is. Not only did it look right, it resonated America. And at the time, of course, America, that's where rock and roll was coming from. It was the leading the, 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 the jet age. The future was this promised land of America. So to have the name Bonneville on a motorbike that a couple of years earlier had set land speed records, this, this I wasn't there at the time, I hasten to add, but that would resonate with youngsters. And it's youngsters who are buying these machines and continue to do so through the 60s, where the Bonneville sales just climbed and soared away. And part of that, I'm sure, is because the bike was quite revolutionary with its motor. Not just its looks and the styling, but that motor produced a power from the word go. And that meant a lot if you're 17 and coming to places like this on the North Circular Road. Who's first away? King of the Hill. Short stretches of carriageway. And that's down to the two carburetors. Other machines, big singles, top end, perhaps they might have you. But on, if you like, real road riding, the Bonneville was king. And today, of course, the term custom has come along and the term sports bike has come along uh, and really in between those two is where the, the, the sort of the roots of um, calf racers come from. To see that the Bonneville is available as a new machine without the headaches and challenges of bikes that are perhaps 50, 60 years old but every sort of aspect of its um, DNA being there, the aesthetic, the, the, the lines, the balance of those lines. It's accessible, it's rideable, it's British. So it's certainly a machine that you can't not like, and if you're into bikes, you'll want one in your garage. <laughs>